we continued to take down trees, opening up for our views. Everyone pitched in, and we learned the hard way why logging should be done in the winter when there is no canopy. It really took us a long time to clear the trees that Adam cut down. But we did stock up on firewood. And we built a water barrel stand to collect rainwater from the roof of the shed so we have water to wash our hands and to fill the sawmill. So we're going to build a stand for the water barrel so that the spout comes out and goes into a sink. We're going to collect the rainwater, wash our hands, use it for the sawmill. Okay. We're going to use four of these as posts to go around the water barrel and we're going to cut one of them up and make a base for it inside of the four posts. Then we'll have an L coming off with two legs to put the sink in. So we're going to call the barrel 23 inches just because it's easy so we're going to compare that to our lovely sink and our sink is 24 inches but there is a inch and a half lip on each side so we should be pretty good okay so then how high do we want the sink off the ground the top of the sink 30, 30? Yeah. 60. 60. One, two, three, and then the top of that one. For the rest of the video, you will hear the humming sound in the background. That's our diesel generator. We have no electricity on the property and we need the generator to operate the power equipment. I'll measure this distance. We'll test it. We'll do one and test it. Okay. Yeah? Okay. You don't see how this is coming together at all, do you? No. Tr trust me for a minute. Okay. Come hold this. Let me explain my confusion here, and maybe like me, you are confused. We clearly measured the diagonal of the water barrel, so I pictured building something like this, which is very mathematically clear what the site should be, except we build something like this. Arbitrarily put a couple of posts, then had to figure out a shorter dimension and build another side. So this is where we're cutting one of the sides, making it shorter, so it's now this irregular rectangle. But I suppose why use math when you can just try and test and fit to the dimension you would like.
We are now completing the four sides of the structure and also cutting crossbars to reinforce the entire structure and to reinforce the bottom. A nail gun comes in very handy, but make sure you're stuck up on a lot of nails. We actually ended up running a little short and we didn't have a lot of liberty to correct some of the mistakes. You'll see later. That's a problem. Look at a couple of rocks in the fireplace. Not really a big problem, but it's sloping ground, so we had to slide a couple of rocks to even out the structure. I'll rise it. I'll rise it. It is 31 ah. It is 33. Yeah. Very good. So this would have been the right way to nail it in, leaving some clearance so we could slide the sink in. Instead, Adam attached it very close and tightly fit with the layer on top. So we actually had to slice and shave some stuff off after what was in place because we didn't have enough nails left to take it all apart and redo. So he is nailing it in place and then he will be shaving some of these bars off. Still a pretty tight fit, but it will work. Finally, the front legs. And it's time to test it out. Can you reach? Pretend there is water coming out of here. Yeah, you can reach? Okay. Stay tuned for us installing the gutter system to actually direct the rainwater into the barrel and continuing to work on our views. Subscribe and watch.